So I am in the town of Kotzebue, above the Arctic Circle, and we're overlooking the Kotzebue Sound. Uh, what's amazing about this body of water, you look at it and you'd say this is the ocean, but uh, in about a month, month and a half, this whole ocean is going to be frozen over, uh, three to four foot deep ice. And uh, folks who live here in Kotzebue will actually be driving across to the other side because wood is over on that side. There's not a lot of wood on the peninsula over here. Uh, and it's just one example of the amazing life that is lived up here in the Arctic. Uh, you know, people are engaging in their traditional hunting, moose and caribou and seals and you know that's what we've been seeing uh, most of this day. I started down in Dillingham down in western uh, portions of Alaska a little bit further south where we saw a traditional uh, fishing of, of sockeye salmon. Uh, about 40 percent of America's wild seafood population comes from that area down in Bristol Bay and we've protected that area from oil and drilling because it's such a sensitive site and people are so dependent on it uh, for their economy and for their livelihood and for just uh, sustaining their families. I think that everybody who has a chance to come up here will marvel at the incredible natural beauty of the state of Alaska, but the reason we're here in particular is to describe uh, in real concrete terms what's happening with climate change. Uh, this is the ground zero where we're seeing the effects in terms of villages that are being displaced. This seawall that I'm standing on had to be built because the erosion was getting so bad that the road over here was being completely uh, washed over. And people are having to adapt and we're going to be helping them adapt. Some towns are going to have to be relocated. But understand that what's happening uh, is not going to be contained unless we are serious about climate change. And there are things that we can do, both as a country and internationally, and each of us as individuals. Uh, you know, those of you who are interested in our climate change plan should go to whitehouse.gov and get more information about it. Uh, but make sure that uh, you and your families are informed about why this is so important. Uh, when you, we see uh, record-setting drought uh, in California, incredible wildfires in Washington, uh, flooding just because the tides come in in South Florida. Uh, those are all potential indicators of the enormous human and economic costs that can come about uh, because of climate change. And if we transition to a clean energy economy, uh, then we still have time to do something about it. Uh, if we continue to deny the science or think that this is something distant in the future, uh, it's possible that it could end up being too late. And we want to make sure that our children and our grandchildren, not just here in Alaska, but everywhere, uh, can enjoy the same uh, incredible planet that uh, God gave to us. Thanks.